Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines. And I've been married since um, 2015. And so today I want to talk about why the rush to the Philippines to find a wife. And this is a comment here. Someone said, I say to anyone wanting to marry a Filipino woman, take your time, do your research, spend two years getting to know that person before you make a lifelong commitment. What's the hurry? Don't let anyone rush you. Okay, so that's what I want to talk about. And please leave a comment and subscribe here on Love Beyond the Sea. I've got lots of playlists on YouTube where nobody has been watching lately. I've got about 1,800 videos. Thankfully, TikTok is uh, doing a lot better. So I'll start by saying I uh, got married in 54 days. That was back in 2015, like I said. And... Um, Nobody was rushing me. I just knew I wanted to get married. And I had talked to somebody and just the two of us for four hours a day. And I went out there to get married. And we got married on day 54. And it took eight months since she was here. Now, I've never said to anybody, hey, do what I did. Do the same thing. Because everybody is going to be different. And everybody is going to be in a different place in their mind on how fast they need to go based on, for example, how badly do they want to get married? I mean, if they're kind of uh, on, the, on the fence with this, that may take a long time. Maybe not because they're trying to get all this information, but they just aren't sure whether they should even do this. And so that can slow somebody down. And a person could be ready more quickly. If they're older, like I was, I was 53 back then, and I'd waited a long time and figured I'd waited long enough when I wanted to get married. So I found somebody and I got married. But nobody was rushing me and I would not rush anybody else. Certainly there's no template for finding a woman in another country. And again, let me know your opinion on this. I think it's important to spend some time of course I think you know everybody's going to do some research I would hope so and um, you know watch people's channels especially the ones that are married because you know they you know it's a whole different mindset when you're married I think and as far as two years um, you know that's a personal choice how long somebody wants to wait um, two years to me seems like a heck of a long time and you also have to factor in when you do your research, that um, there's this immigration period. I mean, <clears throat> if you do a 90-day fiance, that might be a little faster. Her coming to your country, you got 90 days to decide what's going to happen. And back then, it was about eight months for us, but I had a, a great agent do help me with the paperwork, and uh, that speeds things up. Right now, I think it's a little over a year probably best case scenario after you've married. So even if you use the two years here, um, then I assume that, let's say that includes going down there and getting married actually. It could be three years or so before um, you're actually together with this person. And that's a lot different than you know marrying or dating somebody, marrying them that's nearby, like in your own <laughs> zip code or city. And you can see each other in person a lot. So there is no one size fits all here. If a person is older, well, like a video I, I did a long time ago called uh, Time is Not on Your Side, it's not. I didn't feel that way when I was 53. That's so when I got married. And um, if a person is younger, and there are people in their 20s and 30s that I've talked to about finding a wife in the Philippines. Well, their situation is probably a little different. They may need some more time to get their life in order, their, their work, their savings, understand how being married is going to change their life. And so to them, if they waited two or three years, they might only be 33, 35 years old. But if you're going to be 55 or 56 or 57 or 60 when you get married, that 
makes a difference. So I agree here, don't let anyone rush you. I agree here, you know, do your research. As far as the two years, you know, that all depends. I think it only takes, I don't know, it should only take you a few months if you're just talking with that person only before you should know if you want to go and see them in the Philippines. If it takes a little longer, it takes a little longer. But if you just focus on that and you're not doing so many other things, then you can pinpoint her quicker and uh, go out there and meet her. And once you have, that should decide whether that's somebody for you or not. So um, again, I'm not telling anybody to go out and get married quickly like I did. I'm mostly concerned about you know, the marriage skills that the husband has so he can be a good husband. That's why we talk about that so much here on this channel. So keeping this in mind, maybe you're thinking about going to the Philippines. How long do you plan on taking to find the right one? Do you feel any particular hurry or rush? Maybe you're in no hurry at all. Well, let me know and leave a comment about that here on Love Beyond the Sea.